Hello YouTube. I will be replacing the propeller on my Stingray. It has a Volvo Penta SXE steer drive. Got some rocks in the way and propeller is all damaged. Was running a 14.25 or 14 and one quarter by 21 P or pitch. We'll be installing a Rubex aluminum. 14 and a half by 19. So I wanna see if it's gonna fit. I don't think the diameter is gonna be a, an issue because I have a lot of space here but it could be uh, that the hub doesn't fit. So let's find out. So let's take this out of the box. All right, so here we have brand new propeller. Hobex 4822. It does not give you the information here, which, oh yeah, but it, it does right here. So, oh, it does like this, 145, meaning 14 and a half by 19. That's what is important. My old propeller had the information right here. I actually prefer this better, easier to read versus having the information on the body. As you can see, the construction of this new propeller here, it's very similar. So hopefully, see right here, the diameter is the same. So hopefully it, it does fit here. So let's find out. So first of all, start removing this spin right here. I just, I don't want to make it too bad because I got to reuse this. So straighten up as best as you can. Remove the pin, remove this locking place. The nut is actually pretty loose, which is not a problem because with this pin right here, this nut would never, never get lost so removing here i have some white grease in here i will show you you need to do that let me go uh, do a close up right now so now i gotta take this and the propeller oops this cap and then the propeller. And I need to somehow remove this plastic parts from here. It has to come out because I need this plastic insert to the new propeller. So let's see how, how that's gonna go. That was not hard at all. And here, here we have it. Came out of this, should be able to fit right here and fits perfectly. Very good, that's already very good, good information because I was not sure if this hub here would fit this propeller but it does so there you go it does fit right here so now that is inserted here just recap so I, now i have the propeller i have the hub right here i have these metal parts 
That's the order that it goes. Have the hub. This goes here. This goes on top. Then you have the nut. And you do this. And last, you do this. Right? So shouldn't be hard to put back together. As you can see, I still have white grease in here. But I will add some more. You have this trust washer. It is in good shape. I'm gonna add some, some grease and put everything back together. All right, so this is the grease I'm gonna be using. High Perform Extreme, Quicksilver, bunch of applications. Basically, you just wanna have a good amount of this grease everywhere here in the shaft. I like to make sure I have some good grease right here because that's the contact area. So just not like, you know, it's the end of the world, but go ahead and I apply this grease everywhere. So you don't get rust here. I just go with my own fingers like this, I don't care. Get a nice even coat. Put this back, see how it flows nicely. Do a nice coat right here. There you go. Then maybe a little bit more on the bottom here. Looks very good to me right now so i'll just clean up my fingers right here should be ready to go so let's do a close up view there you go see grease everywhere so now time to add the propeller the new propeller back in and here it goes that's how, that's how it goes. Come from here now. Then, get this. See how it goes easily. There you have it. Then, this trust washer goes here. I'm going to add some grease as well on this part right here. Because this is gonna be metal touching metal. I want to have a good amount of grease in here. There you go, that I have it. Get some more grease in here. Not too much. Just turn up. Just enough. And then the nuts. See, it goes very easy. Cut to the end. This is good. You have this. And then there's a hole here where this goes, right? So try to align the best you can and then get this through the hole. And, and then you 
bend this. There you have it. This is how I replaced my 14 and one quarter by 21 pitch by a Solas Robex 4622, which is 14 and a half by 19. This is the box right here. Very limited uh, information about the hub. Wasn't sure if my own hub would fit, but did fit pretty well. Snug and tight. 14 and a half, 19. Aluminum, three blades. Let's see how it performs. Guarantee is gonna be better than this one. Size-wise, not too different, not too not much bigger. I think it's gonna perform well. Again, it's in a Volvo Penta S SXA. This is the Stingray 18 and a half LS. That's the boats see how it goes thank you thank you for watching bye